Hey guys, welcome back to Montana Made. Today we are going to be working on turning all of this wood into a picnic table. Uh, I have 11 two by sixes, one two by four, and a couple eight, three and a half inch carriage bolts with all the nuts and washers and everything you'd need. Um, so hopefully this project should realistically only take you about a weekend to do, if not quicker, uh, less all the staining and finish work. Um, so I'll break it down, all the cuts, everything in the assembly, and even the finish work on this one. The very first thing that I do is lay five two by sixes facing down. I'm going to build this table uh, laying on its tabletop because it's easier to manage and just the assembly is easier with it sitting this way. Um, and then what we want to do is get our two by four, which is over there, and we want to make four cuts. We want to cut four lengths of our 2x4 um, at 23.5 inches. And what those will do is I'll make those cuts and show you, but they'll lay across these 2x6s at different locations uh, and tie this tabletop together. And then it'll also give some points for the lower bracing to attach to. So what I'll do is set up my saw and make those four cuts. Now that we have our bracing 2x4s cut on each side of the table, we'll put two of them in place. And so the way that these are designed is to overlap these sideboards enough to give enough bite from your wood screws uh, to hold this all in place so that these sideboards don't flex. So it's all just one rigid piece. Uh, the first board face, so the face of the tables here, the first board face is where I've got them measured is about 2.5 inches. So what you do, grab your tape measure, make a mark at 2.5 inches. Grab your straight edge. And that will be board number one. And then board number two, I have this line is at 13.5 inches from the face of the table. So come back 13.5 inches, draw your mark, line up your board. And, you know, with these boards, center them side to side on the table. So it's two inches on each side. We'll get in close. So each side of this board should be two inches just so it, it'll center up. Your boards might be a little bit different depending on how these all sit together, but um, yeah, that should center these boards up and get them at a good distance. Uh, now we'll run wood screws into these to screw them down. First, always add a little bit of wood glue. And then flip it over. Make sure everything lines up with all of your marks. Then run all your screws into place. I am using 
um, on the size of these wood screws is two and a half inch just to make sure that these don't sink all the way through uh, the support board and through the tabletop. And then I usually use offset two screws per board. This is how the tabletop should look at this point before we start anything else. So you have all your bracing in place. It's all screwed down, wood glued down. Now we are ready to move on to building the benches and the bracing. Now that we have the tabletop framed up, uh, we will move to framing up our bench seats. So what you'll need for this portion is a two by four um, and then two of your two by sixes. Uh, by eight long and what we will do is cut this two by four for bracing on the bottom of these seats um, and those are cut at 62 inches long so you'll need two two by fours for this and you'll need four two by sixes uh, for the seats so I'll get these two by fours marked up and we'll make our cuts and I'll show you how to measure these uh, to install them on the bottoms of these seats. With the 2x4 now cut 62 inches long for the bottom of your actual bench seat bracing, what you want to do now is measure, uh, you want to find the center point from the face edge of your bench so we can get this 2x4 centered uh, between these two boards. And the actual distance with this cut 62 inches is 17 inches from here to here. So I made my mark. And similar to the bottom of the table, what we'll do is uh, wood glue the bottom of this and then run our wood screws down into it to hold this in place all the way across. And we'll do this twice because we have two benches. But in the interest of time in the video, I will just do it on one. Now that uh, we have one side 
screwed down, always take a clamp because obviously these boards are a little bit warped. So brings them together. And then when you screw this down, these will be tight. Next, we want to cut out the four legs. Uh, these four legs are 30 inches long at a 25 degree pitch. Uh, so what that means is this point, this first line right here to the edge of this board down here is 30 inches. And then also when you cut right up here, this mark should be 30 inches from here to here. So and then I will zoom in and show you guys how to do the 25 ang or 25 degree angle on these boards. In order to cut a 25 degree angle, you can obviously use your miter saw. And if you have a speed square, uh, how to use this is put your pivot point right up to where your 30 uh, inch mark is and then spin your square and then this 25 degree line should be lined up with your board and then all you do is do that and that gives you your 25 degree angle so now we'll go ahead and cut these off So at this point you should have your tabletop uh, framed up. You should have your four legs cut out and then you should also have your two benches with the support installed. I've only got one made, I'm gonna make up the other one, but we will get on to cutting out the final pieces of this puzzle and then uh, on to assembly. Now we need to cut out the supports for the actual seats. Uh, they are 59 inches long, so with your two by sixes, you need two 59 inch long boards. Um, so I'll cut those out and show you the detail on those. So with the detail cut uh, for these benches, uh, these are the bench supports, uh, come down find the midpoint, so about 2.75, use my speed square and I come down to 4 inches till it intersects and then I'll cut this off and I'll do the exact same thing on the other side. So let me measure these up, uh, I'll cut these out and then I'll show you kind of what that detail looks like. Here is the detail on the bench seat support. So one of the benches will sit here. This will go under the table and the other bench will sit here. And so that is the detail for the support. Um, and we'll add some detail on the seats just to make it look like it fits in with this cut as well. So anyways, you need two of these and we'll move on to the final two by four cuts for this table. Next thing after you've made your mark 
where your drill marks are going to be on the table legs. What you want to do is make two marks. So we'll make one at two and four inches. And what those will be is where we drill the holes through the legs for the carrier bolts. Now we want to drill the holes in the table legs, so you're going to need a drill bit. Um, and these holes will be for the carriage bolts. So your drill bit should be similar diameter to your carriage bolts. Uh, these carriage bolts that I'm using are three and a half inches long. As you can see, about three and a half. Uh, and what that will do is give you enough uh, length to get through the leg and the table and also tighten the table down. So I will uh, move to drilling the holes in the table legs and then we will get to uh, assembling the table. Now that we have one board already drilled, uh, you want the other three to be exactly the same. So the easiest way to do that is to stack your legs, perfectly center them, and then take a vice grip and vice grip the legs together, and then use the holes that you already drilled to drill down into the next board. And then you do the same thing for the other two. Now we are ready to test mount the legs that we just put our holes in. So, got our holes in the legs ready to go. And the way I measure these is these sit on the inside of your boards for your supports for your tabletop. And then you run two wood screws right into the face of that. And this will hold this in place until we can get the main supports on it. Uh, the easiest way to hold this in place is obviously a good vice grip. And my measurement for it is two inches from here to here. So two inches from this face to this board. Looks good. And then I just take two wood screws. Now we want to mount the seat supports and what we need to do is drill the holes that we to match up to where we just drilled the holes in the legs for our carriage bolts. And the easiest way to do that is to take your, if you have one, framing square and line that up directly in the middle of the inside hole. Kind of hard to do on camera. And then what you want to do is center your support side to side and I measured from the side of the table to the edge of the board and it was 15 and 5 eighths. So it's 15 and 5 eighths on that side as well so I get the same measurement. And then with that drawn, you come around to the back side, make a mark where your approximate center is and then when you fold this board down, drill a hole directly in the center of this board at this dimension and you'll be, you'll be lined yeah, up with this hole on each side. Okay, we have uh, our first bolt through on each side. Uh, this one I got to punch through the rest of the way, but now uh, with this installed, you should be able to take your drill and drill out each of these other two holes because it should be aligned. And then you can just run your bolts through and crank them down. And then you can do the same thing on the other side. Now we want to take the two by fours that were left over uh, from the seat bracing. So the two chunks that you cut off from your seats, save those. And what we want to do is 45 the ends of them. So I will set these up and show you how to make a proper 45 on these. And these will end up being uh, support bracing for the final 
some of the legs. Um, but we'll get to that and I'll show you how to install those too. So to make a 45 degree cut on the ends of these, just line up your speed square to the end. This is a 45 degree angle. And draw that across. Flop the board down. And then we have our position to cut. And we want to do the same thing on the other side. So we'll set this up just like that. Okay, and then we will get our circular saw, which we've got right here, and it is set up to cut a 45. So I will get these uh, one of these vices down and make the cut real quick. Your two ends should look just like that. Now we need to install the final brace, which is these two by fours that I was talking about on the last segment. Uh, these are the leftover pieces from, again, the bottom of the benches. And what you use these for is to square up the actual legs of the table. So if I throw my level on here check your side to side pretty good and then front to back I could use a little bit more this way and you can adjust that by moving this board forward and back I always mount these first into the face and then use this board to pull or push the level to make it to make it square and you do that I'll do that on this side but that's how it should look in the framing uh, so I'll get the other one mounted up and we'll flip this table over and I'll show you how to mount the benches at this point with the table flipped over this is exactly what it should look like uh, very sturdy so far so good um, I chose eight foot boards and an eight foot table because for a bunch of these boards you don't even have to cut them you can just put them in place and screw them in place um, so what we'll do is mount our benches because we're missing benches um, so I'll get the camera set up and I'll show you how to mount the benches installing the seats is very straightforward all you want to do is take the seat you already made and place it in between the two supports And then the edges of your seat align with the edge of the table. Like so. And then you just run screws, four screws down into it to hook the actual bench to the table. And that will finish up your table.